the Ukrainian president become visibly emotional today as he described the discovery of raped women and murdered children among the dead in Bukha. Volodymyr Zelensky surveyed the alleged atrocities with Ukrainian servicemen after Russian troops retreated from the area. Ukrainian officials have said 410 innocent civilians have been killed in the towns surrounding Kyiv, with 300 of them in Bukha alone. A mass grave of 57 bodies was uncovered in the city today. Many of the victims were found with close-range gunshot injuries, severed limbs, bound hands and signs of torture. This evening the bodies of five more men were also discovered in a basement, AFP news agency reports. Speaking from Bukha, Zelensky vowed that Russian President Vladimir Putin and his troops would be punished for the alleged war crimes. He said, it's very difficult to talk. It's very difficult to negotiate when you see what they did here. Every day we find people in barrels, cellars and everywhere else, some strangled, some clearly tortured. He continued to reporters, these are war crimes and will be recognized by the world as genocide. You are here today and can see what happened. We know of thousands of people killed and tortured, with severed limbs, raped women, murdered children. I think it is more than, this is a genocide. Zelensky noted that residents in the area had chipped in to feed animals left homeless by the alleged atrocities, stating that Ukrainians treat animals the way you would treat humans. He went on, you can see around what was done to this modern town. That's a characteristic of Russian soldiers, treat people worse than animals. Chilling satellite images have shown the devastation in Bukha, with an approximately 45-foot-long grave site uncovered near the Church of St. Andrew and Piovo Zvanoho All Saints. Taras Shapraski, deputy mayor of Bukha, said 50 of the bodies were the victims of extrajudicial killings carried out by Russian troops. The body of a Ukrainian mayor and her family were also found among those buried in a mass grave grave just outside Motyzhin, west of Kyiv. Olga Sukhenko was killed along with her husband Ahor and son Alexander, Ukraine's former ambassador to Austria, Alexander Sherba, said. Her fingers and arms were broken, the mayor of the nearby town of Kopyliv said. It is thought she was tortured for aiding the Ukraine resistance. Journalists in the region described seeing corpses of civilians with their heads taped, destroyed houses and burnt out cars. Moscow has claimed the alleged atrocities have been staged by Ukraine to sully Russia in the media. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said Ukraine's version of what happened in Bukha was a fake attack aimed at undermining the nation. Today U.S. President Joe Biden called for a war crimes trial against Russian President Vladimir Putin over the alleged atrocities. He told reporters, he is a war criminal. But we have to gather the information. We have to continue to provide Ukraine with the weapons they need to continue to fight and we have to get all the details so this could be, actual have a war crimes trial. This guy is brutal and what's happening in Bukha is outrageous and everyone's seen it. Neither the USA or Russia recognizes the International Criminal Court which is responsible for prosecuting war crimes.